Hello guys and welcome back to The Wandering Wind. Today I'm going to be beginning a brand new gameplay series through a modded version of Final Fantasy VIII. This is based on the original 2013 Steam release and I got this... Actually I got this game about uh, two years ago and I've only ever played through it once and it was with the original storyline. But through the magic of Tonberry mods, as well as many other mods, not only are the graphics enhanced, but I also have a brand new storyline and script modded into the game, as well as various gameplay tweaks. So this will be an experience for both you and me, as we see how the game has changed since, when would it? When did it release? The 90s? 1998? Something like that? Good Lord, it's been forever and a day ago. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. And the original music of this game has been restored because originally on the on the PC version of this game, it used your onboard graphics, I mean, sound card to play MIDI files, which sounded horrible in comparison to the original PS1 soundtrack. So through a Rosen, through a program called Roses and Wine, I've actually restored most of the original soundtrack, as well as added in some remastered soundtracks here and there. Renoa, our favorite girl. Well, fine anyway. You know, funnily enough, Renoa was my first um, fictional character crush back in the day. Um, I always thought that she was very pretty. <laughs> that doesn't say much about um, her character, especially as she's originally characterized. She was very... Eh. I don't know. Anyway, I'm probably going to maybe get past the fire cavern in this before having to stop playing for tonight because it's Saturday night. I got to get to bed at some point. But... I hope to play more often soon. <laughs> Squaresoft presents Final Fantasy VIII. Ah, uh, you know, honestly, this was my first Final Fantasy, and then, ironically enough, my next one was actually Final Fantasy VII. So, I didn't even get to play Final Fantasy VII first. I played Final Fantasy VII after this one. Which is probably why this is my favorite Final Fantasy of the original PlayStation ones. Now, there is a voiceover mod for this, but it's incomplete. And honestly, I felt like it was a bit jarring. So I didn't add that in. Plus, when I discovered the new, so the new script mod, I decided to use it because honestly, I want to see how that storyline kind of progresses too, so we'll see how it works. Oh, come on, Cypher. Oh, come on, Squall. Oh boy, here we go. Ouch. Don't scar him too deeply, man. Yeah. Ouch. That's got to be painful. You know, I never really noticed in the original PlayStation version how they both each get mirroring scars. Because Squall's got his from the right, right forehead to the left side. And Cypher has his from the left forehead to the right side. So it's mirrored. That's interesting. All right, we're waking up in the infirmary, and Dr. Katawaki is asking us how we feel. I'm going to say my forehead hurts. My forehead's killing me. No kidding. That gas did almost kill you, you know. Yep, they did. <laughs> they did a good job about updating the script, honestly. Looks like your eyes are focusing. Hmm. You should be all right. Say your name for me. Squall, for I am the one who brings the storms of life. 
why don't you take it easy in training? Next time you might not be so lucky. We weren't training. <laughs> Oof. Really? That's not what Cypher said. He said you two were only practicing. He just walked out of here a few minutes ago. He'll have a scar as big as yours. Perhaps I should bring this up with your instructor. And now Skull's regretting his mistake. No, he was right. We were just practicing. <laughs> it's like, okay, tell the truth or get in trouble. I think I'll... I mean, lie or get in trouble. I think I'll lie. Yeah. You want to be cool, huh? Well, don't go killing each other in the process. Yes, sir. I'll try not to. Well, yes, ma'am. Just get some rest until your instructor arrives. Let's see. Your instructor is... Quist is trip. I'll call her now. Just wait here a moment. Okay. Will do. Will do. Quistus, that's right. Come get your student. Yes, yes. His injury is no longer serious. It'll leave quite a scar, though. Right. Now, please come by. And here comes one of my favorite mysteries of the early game. It is you. I can hardly believe it. After all this time. Huh. Well, isn't that cryptic? And here comes our only a year older than us instructor. Because canonically in the game, Squall is 17 and Quistus is actually 18. In fact, Squall and all of the others are 17. She's the only one who's a year older. I knew it. You and Cypher again. If you don't cut it out, you're both going to get expelled. Well, well. Come on, let's go. You want to miss the field exam? No, not really. Squall, why do you always fight with Cypher? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> oh, boy. What? Sorry, you're just so predictable at times. But I still don't get understand why you two are always fighting. It's as if you enjoy going out of your way to make him angry. That's not it. You wouldn't understand. Oh, really? Try me. It's none of your business. <laughs> business. <laughs> I, I love how they've remastered the AMVs in this. They actually used AI upscaling to really make them look a lot smoother. Now, they aren't much sharper, but they do better in like 16 by 9 format. Although you can see some of the ar artifacting with the upscaling with the AI, but it's not too terribly bad, honestly. All things considered. Good morning, class. Let's start with today's schedule. Sure, we can do that. <laughs> Still a bit loud. Let me see if I can redo this. Four. Ah, that works. There seems to have been some rumors flying around since yesterday. And yes, the field exam for seed candidates will begin later this afternoon. <laughs> some of the students look kind of nervous. Those not participating and those who remit, those who failed last, last week's written test are to remain here in study hall. Field exam participants will have free time until the exam. Don't forget, this exam is on an active front. The, the threat is very real. Cadets who do not properly prepare may, re may return with permanent injuries. Or in the worst case scenario, they may not return at all. Lovely quiz this year, just the ray of sunshine, aren't you? <laughs> Meet in the main hall at 1600 hours. I'll announce the team assignments there. 
Until then, I advise you to make good use of the time you have here. Any questions? Oh, and one more thing, Cypher. Do not injure your partner while training. This is your first and final warning. Be more careful from now on. Ah, great. <laughs> I keep getting notifications. I don't know how to put them. How to turn them off for Steam. Field exam participants, I'll see you all later. And Skull, may I speak with you? Yeah, sure. But first, I got something to do. Let's see. Turn on the power and... Let's see about getting my guardian forces. Guardian forces registered under Squall are Quetzalcoatl and Shiva. All right. We got that. We got her. Awesome. And now I can go ahead and exit out. And we're ready to get started. I really love the remastered soundtracks. They're really good. Honestly. You haven't been to the fire cavern yet, have you? It's required for you to go at least once in order to qualify for today's seat, seat exam. I was going to go this morning, but Cypher... Huh? Do you have a good excuse? No, not really. <laughs> Well, what do you plan to do about it? There's still time. Why don't I accompany you? If you need, you can review your studies through the study panel at your desk. Don't forget to access the information regarding your assigned guardian forces. Just don't get distracted with any of your classwork. This isn't the time to be worrying about anything like that. I'm going on ahead to the front gate. Don't keep me waiting. No worries, Christmas. No worries. I'll get you. Let me just go ahead and junction my... Well... First. Alright. 580 for compatibility. I'm gonna need boost on both of them. For the... <laughs> oh, nice. They've changed what abilities are available. Although I do I do notice that the card command is gone. Hmm. Or maybe it's just not there yet. Maybe it's not on this particular GF. Alright, well. Junction with the coddle. And we'll need GF, magic, and draw. Oh, and might as well get that initiative skill. Enables action as soon as battle begins. Awesome. And we'll go ahead and junction speed with 15, 20 blind. And then for a status attack. Oh, well, never mind. I'll use blind on status. And Asuna on status defense. And then for my speed stat, I will use Blizzard. Alrighty, that works. That works. Hopefully I can get some more magic. Hopefully I find a Blizzard enemy out in the world and can use it. I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. What? Ah. Are you okay? <laughs> there. See? I'm fine. Sorry, I was kind of in a hurry. Oh, did you just come from that class? Is homeroom over? Oh no. <laughs> 
This place is so much bigger than my last garden. Oh, hey, you look kind of familiar. Huh. In the original game, they don't even acknowledge it. So I wonder if the amnesia is go <laughs> I'll find out later. You know, I just transferred here from Trabia. Do you think you could give me a quick tour of the garden? Sure. Woohoo! All right, let's go. We'll take the elevator to the first floor lobby and I'll show you the directory. And before we go there, I'm going to pick up the cards. Triple Triad. Received seven cards. Yeah, fairly standard fare. I'll probably have to see if I can manage to snatch some decent cards. I'll have to watch that. How, how do I turn off notifications on Steam? That would be interesting to find out. Probably just had to disable the overlay. I'll do that in settings after the recording for this episode. It won't take me too long. I've got a 40 minute timeline for the fire cabin fight anyway, so I can't take forever. <laughs> I have a question. How do you use this? Move the cursor and press A to select. Oh yeah, one of the changes I made was I actually got um, a an icon set to change the button uh, icons to the Xbox controller that I've got. I used to have a PS5 controller, but unfortunately I had to sell it for money. It had to happen. Yes, sir. You'll find the dorm dormitory to the north. The majority of the students live in the dorms. There aren't too many students who commute. Yeah, I'm in the dorms too. You can rest and change in there. West of the north block is the cafeteria. Always a big rest for the hot dogs. Better get used to waiting in line. Got it. East of the north block is a parking lot. We usually take, take the garden car with a mis when a mission comes up. The front gate is located to the south. How to go meet his instructor trap in the front gate. Nothing. Next we have the quad. Ooh. There's an event being planned there. I know, I know. It's the garden festival. It's going to be great. I'm planning to be on the committee. You want to help out too? Let's just continue. <laughs> Classic squall. Not even interested at all. <laughs> South of the West Block is the infirmary. Infirmary. This is where you get treated for your injuries, but a lot of students just come here for advice. What's the doctor's name? Dr. Katawaki. Now the East Block. This is the training center. Only facility open at night. It's used for training and they have real monsters running loose. If you don't take it seriously, you may end up dead. Just be careful. Awesome. Thanks for the advice, Squall. Well, I appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> South of the East Block is the library. There are a lot of material you can look up here, but the terminals in the classroom are a lot more efficient. And you already know about the classroom on the second floor, right? Yep, I remember that one. By the way, the headmaster's office is located on the third floor. You need permission to get in. Another question, what's the headmaster's name? Headmaster Sid. That's about it. Anything else? Got it. Awesome. Good job. Hey, um, are you taking today's seed exam? Yeah. And maybe I'll see you again later. I've already finished my training at my previous garden. I'm taking the exam today, too. Good luck to both of us, huh? Thanks a lot. Ain't no problem. I do my best. All right. First save game. I had to actually wipe all my save data from my my um, install in order to be able to free up space. Because otherwise I would have never remembered which save was what. Okay. Let's go to the front gate. And meet up with Instructor Trap for our field exam. Well, our... um. 
whatever. Now, let's go over a few things about Guardian Forces before we head off. If effective use of GS is as much an art as a science, requiring practice and hard work. But the more you utilize them, the stronger your connection with a GF will become. Right now, you may only be able to use basic basic magic, but in time, that potential will grow. So why don't we review the basics of how junctioning a GF actually works? And don't forget, you can always skip any tutorial by holding down the cancel button. Well, that's wonderful to know. Thank you. I'm pretty sure you know this, but junctioning GFs is a cutting-edge te technique. It was recently developed by Balham Gardens founder and headmaster Sid Kramer. Only we know how it works, and it's our most strategic advantage over any other military. Yep. 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 Oh. I might have had to move where my camera is. Because right now I'm blocking the, the view. Once we, well, actually, you know what? I can do that right now. Oopsie. I'm going to break the immerse in a minute. Uh, let's go ahead and move me over here. Okay. And lock me in. And back to the game. There we go. Oh, nope. Still blocking. Hmm. I wonder. I'll tell you what. Move me up in the corner. <laughs> and look, I'm floating. That works, I guess, for now. I'll figure something out later. Oh, crap. This happens sometimes when I exit and then come back in. Just had to do it a couple of times and wait for it to work itself out. There we go. Once we get to the fire cavern, we can review how to junction magic. In the meantime, use the draw technique and battle to stock magic from your enemies. Ready to go? The fire cavern, our testing ground, is located east of here. Got it. So, first thing I'm going to do, find a bite bug and get a hundred of the cure spell for both Quistus and Squall. Because I'm going to need it. Okay, draw. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You don't have any cure magic. Oh, and I didn't junction quest this with Shiva yet. Yeah, that'll be next on my list. And let's go ahead and just run. It won't affect me this time, I don't think. All right. Let's junction Shiva. And let's just do auto on her. Finds hidden, hidden save and draw points. Nice. Okay, we need to go in here and find a caterpillar. Is what they're called. Yep, that's the one. And cure. There we go. And actually, what I'm going to do after I get, um, oh, wait. I have to wonder if I've got, ah, I forgot. I forgot to change the settings for my controls. Got to do that. Mm. Do that in a second. Because if you go into the settings and change the cursor position to memory, then every time you 
when you, when you change what setting, I mean, selection you have in your, um, yeah, uh, <laughs> Yeah, when you choose a spell, it'll remember that you chose that spell or whatever. So that's what I like to do. So, oh, we need to take care of these two first. Take care of the bite bugs, that way they don't pester me too much. Actually, you know what? Just use the assist. There we go. I know it's technically cheating, but yeah, well. There we go. You're dead. Okay. Draw a cure. Draw a cure. And just stock up to 100% on each. There we go. This will be easy enough. Ow. Oops. Okay, time to end the battle. Good, good. Good job. All right. Now that that's done, I can junction. Well, don't really have any better options for what's this, but maybe for Ah oh, there we go there we go. That'll work for now. For a minute? Okay. Mm, Alright. Time for the fire cavern. All right, before we go any further, we have to review Junctioning Magic. I already know how to do that, thanks. <laughs> uh, I already know, thanks. Don't insult me. All right, Squall, from here on, I need you to try your best. One mistake in this place could be your last. Remember that. No, you think? Thanks, I appreciate the reminder. <laughs> Uh, what's this? You're funny. You're funny. Cadet, your objective here is to find and obtain a low-level GF. A fully qualified C member is allowed to supervise and offer support. Are you prepared for the challenge that awaits? Yes. <laughs> I'm ready. And I'm his support. Instructor number 14, Quiz's trip. Then select a time limit. I, I don't care that it offers different options. I always go for 40. Just because I know if things go from bad to worse, at least I've got extra time. Don't let your guard down just because I'm with you. I won't. What does that mean? My job is to offer support. But it's your job to do the bulk of the fighting. Why are you acting like I don't know this? Sorry. Let's go. Try not to get distracted by me. <laughs> it's like, yeah, but you're my instructor. That d That's supposed to not happen. <laughs> it's kind of a no-no for instructors and students to fraternize, you know? <laughs> there we go. Ah. Quistus, you're useless. At least as a 
physical attacker. It's a good thing I'm better than that. <laughs> Let's see. Still no level up. Eh, I got some items though. That'll do. That'll do. All right. I got a draw point here. Fire. Let's get some. Eight fires. Good, good. Okay. Oh, gosh. Bomb and elemental monster. All right, well. Pencil Coddle, it's your turn. And Shiva, you're up too. There we go. Let's go. Thirty-seven minutes. You can do this, Gregory. Yeah. Nice. And then she was going to finish off the bombs. That'll be good. Yep, it'll be good for this. Ah! There we go. Good job, Shiva. Yay! Okay. Can I just run away? Eh, it's only a buell. I'll run away. What has it got? Fire, thunder, and the lizard. I don't care. Oh well. It went down without a fuss. That that's easy enough. Come on. Let me get to the next section at least. Good. Thank you. Both you and Cypher have grown so much. This is a good time to test your true potential. Sure. Wonderful time. Okay, this is it. Give it your all. At least you don't lack don't lack confidence. <laughs> ah. Ooh. I love the boss music. Let's see. Magic Blizzard. And Shiva. Oh wait. Because it's modded, I need to check and see what magic I can draw from him. Okay. Just the usual fare. Alright. Come on, Shiva. Destroy him. Good job. They have Shiva? Yep, they have Shiva. Ah. Good job. <laughs> He's only got a thousand hit points, so it won't take him... It won't take much to knock him out, but... Again, it's just a matter of getting through. Blast him! Diamond dust! Yeah! <laughs> Oof. Blizzard! Freeze!
Not bad for a human. Eh. That's what they all say. <laughs> Come on. Almost there. Hey, and with 33, 30 minutes to spare. I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> you know, I knew I could do it in 10, but I don't like pushing the envelope too much. It gets a bit dicey if it, if it goes much further than that. Impede in humans. Ah, die. Lizard. Be reduced to dust. Ooh. Ooh. Squall got the final blow. Awesome. That means he gets extra EXP. And no, he doesn't because bosses don't give EXP. <sighs> G returner. And a card. Awesome. Boost for both of them. Nice. A frit. Excellent. Congratulations, you passed. Now this time I know I've got something new for you. This GF has a new kind of junction ability. With it, you can make use of the elemental properties of magic. All right. And I already know that one, too. <laughs> but I'm also going to Junction Ifrit and get the alert ability and then assign fire and then blizzard. Excellent. Next, let's go back to the entrance. Oof. It's a bomb. Oh well. Let's use Shiva. She'll be quick. Yeah. Diamond dust. Ninety two percent of her attack. Five hundred and eighty eight damage. Not bad, not bad at all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Excellent. Squall draw fire. Excellent. Oh, I'm going to be able to end the video at, at under <laughs> 45 minutes. Nice. It's going to be awesome. Almost there, almost there. A little bit more and we'll be out of the out of the woods with this one. Shiva. Dust them. <laughs> 115 damage. 120%. Excellent. <laughs> hey. 
She powerful. Excellent. Alrighty then. And we're out of the woods. Yay. Now head back to the garden. First of all, save here. Just I've got a decent save spot. All right. Turn the camera around. Oof. Eh, run. I'll deal with you later. Come on, get in the road. Good. Now head for the garden. Excellent. Good job. Well done, Squall. Let's see. There was something else I was going to talk tell you before taking the seat exam. Oh yes, there's a bit more you need to know about taking care of your GFs. Oh, yep, level up and gain AP. Got it. Now change into your uniform and assemble at the first floor lobby. Be quick. The field exam will begin at, begin at 1600 sharp. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> well, guys, that's it for today's episode of Final Fantasy VIII. Um... I will go ahead and see you guys on the next episode tomorrow or the next day or the day after that. I'm going to try and get through this as in, in as many days as I can keep filming. But I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. Next episode is going to be the field exam. Part one, probably. Probably not going to be able to fit it both, fit the whole thing in a 45 minute timeline. Anyway. See you guys next time. Take care. Have a wonderful night. God bless.